So, und damit willkommen zurück zu Gibbers Cthulhu Adventure. Wir haben jetzt den letzten Gegenstand zwischen organisiert, nämlich die Puppe. Wir schauen uns mal an. It used to be Priscilla's doll. It's my doll now. So, wir reden nochmal mit dem Voodoo-Kerl. Found a doll. You mean mercilessly ripped from the hands of an innocent child, don't you? All right, what do you want to call it? Uh... Todd. Todd. I dub thee Todd. I don't think this will work. <laughs> Brittany. Oh, heck no. <laughs> Chad. I dub thee Chad. I think I saw it frown at me. No good. That was Asenath. Asenath. Asenath it is. So, that was all of them, huh? Indeed it was. All right, now this is important. Which order should we use them in? So, wartet. Bild, Puppe, Schere, glaube ich. Picture, doll, scissors. All right, here we go. Jambalaya. Uh, okay, what just happened? Azanath just lost her head. Over some male model dude. I told you, I deal in figurative voodoo. Should have seen it coming. Do you think it worked? I know it worked. Thank you, VG. Enough respect, B. Was gut getan, 25 Komma. Und <laughs> Moralität gesteigert, okay. So, everything seems to have worked out in the end, huh? Well, not everything, but yeah, it's a start. Gonna go change Kitty back now. You do that. Please. See you soon. Not too soon, I hope. Ich habe ein Achievement gekriegt für die richtige Wude Sequenz haben wir sofort genutzt, okay. I know I'm supposed to be intimidated, but somehow I feel safer around him. So, können wir da jetzt mit dem Taxifahrer reden? Heard from Ed lately? You. You're good. Nah, it was nothing. No, 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 no. You're good. You're very good. Just got off the phone with Ed. Azanet left him for a male model. My God, I don't know how you did it, but you did it. <laughs> Thanks. So, want to go to Fishmut? Want? No. But I'm a man of my word, friend. Get in. We're off to Stinkville. Hear that, kitty? Adventure awaits. I can barely contain my enthusiasm. <laughs> ah, you'll love it. Seafood as far as the eye can see. Oh, brother. Alrighty. Here goes nothing. Das war ja einfacher als gedacht. Kapitel 2, der Tempel. Oh, der Detektiv, ohne Schuhe. Ah. Oh. Where am I? What happened? Okay, wir gucken, was er im Inventar hat. Sein Notizbuch. Ich bin einem seltsamen Keller mit pochen Kopfschmerzen ohne Schuhe aufgewacht und sie, wer immer auch sie sind, haben mir Pantoffeln gegeben. Pantoffeln. Ich muss einen Weg finden, aus diesem Loch zu entkommen. Hier liegt viel Schrott rum. Vielleicht könnte ich damit etwas bauen. So, was haben wir denn Feines hier? Ein Tablet. There was no time for anything else. All I wanted was to get out of that dump pronto. Warum liegt da ein Tablet? Ist das normal? Früher hatten Notizen da gelassen, jetzt überlegt ein Tablet. There was no time for anything else. All I There was no time for Die Tasse. There was no time. There was no Okay, ich muss noch einmal die Tür anklicken. That's the way out of here. Da ich kriegt damit ab, muss die anderen hey, Sachen. You out there. Let me out of here, you dirtbags. Nicht die Hände, sondern die Füße. Come on, who's out there? Hello? Nothing. So, 
This isn't going to be easy after all. I started to take in my surroundings and bing, bang, boom. I was seeing salvation in every little thing that caught a glint. In my mind, they were already shaping into something that would definitely get these goons' attention. I was going to do big, loud things with petty stuff, like a poor country using scraps to send a rocket to the moon. <laughs> das ist eine coole Stimme auch. So, was haben wir denn feind? Wir haben die Pantoffeln da. Oh, isn't that nice? Leave a man shoeless and offer him slippers. Well, yeah, they do look nice and fluffy and warm. But comfort would just distract me right now. I ain't putting on slippers unless I'm at home in my robe with a stiff drink, a Maurice Ventricle record, and a searing fear of the telephone. <laughs> This once contained soup like the earth once contained dinosaurs. Was? Made by the good soup conglomerate. Good soup. Soups. I could use this. Eine leere verbogene Dose. Also wir haben Plesch auf jeden Fall oder irgendwas, was da drin verschlaut werden könnte. Also, ja, Feuerlöscher. Warning! This is an ultra-powerful fire extinguisher. You have probably purchased this item because you're either a hardcore forest fire fighting enthusiast, you work at a kerosene factory, or you practice occult rituals involving high temperature immolation. Please make sure your feet are firmly set on the ground and you're ideally leaning against a sturdy wall when you unleash this bad boy. Leave premises immediately if operating grip on extinguisher is lost. You have no chance to regain control of it. Oh, man. Do I really need to read that again? <laughs> Nein. Hmm. Extremely powerful, huh? Sounds like a rocket of a time. Good. Standtapete. That's an odd choice for a detention type basement. The more I look at it, the more it weirds me out. Nothing there that's any use to me. Vielleicht bist du was abreißen an irgendeiner Stelle, wo die Tapete schon abgezogen ist? Nee. Dann gucken wir uns mal das Fenster an. Judging by its placement, it seems I'm in a basement. Huh, rhymes. <lacht> Not much to see, but boy, does this sickening fishy smell float in from outside. Hm, das ist wohl scheint die Fischstadt. Ich I ain't muss... getting past those bars without some heavy duty power tool. Nochmal. I ain't getting past those bars without some heavy duty Okay, schwere Werkzeuge, eine Fotowand. Parish of Starry Knowledge Camp Highlights. So, that's who I'm dealing with, huh? Looks more like a collection of mugshots to me. I don't want any of them around. Ever. Eine Teerfütze. That's a lot of dense, sticky tar. Seems to be a lot of it around. It looks rigid, but not enough that you couldn't pour it. Nimm das in die Hand. Ich nehm... I can't just pick it up with my bare hands. In der Suppendose vielleicht? It's a puddle. I think I need something with a little depth. Dann nehmen wir die Tasse. Whoever these bozos are, they left an empty mug for me. Thanks a lot. Hefty storage, though. Pennies to pachyderms. I'll find something to fill it. Ja, damit sagt das ja schon. All right. Let's get me some of this tar. Mm -hmm. So, was haben wir noch? Gucken wir uns mal die Fotowand an, ob da irgendein Foto spezielles. Kann es bald zur Seite gehen? Danke. Nein. Hier haben wir noch Müll. Discarded food, fish bones, a flotation device, random trash. Useless and furthermore gross. Nothing there of any you. Okay. Saubere Lappen. Well, that's unexpected. A pristine rag in this smelly, filthy basement. It might be useful at some point. Ein sauberen Lappen und Teer. Das ist ja eine interessante Kombination. Vertiefung. There's a recess in the floorboards here. I'm not wearing any shoes. Might as well watch my step. Da zieht er sich die Pantoffeln an, ey. Nothing in there but dust and more fish smell. Nah, it's no use just by itself. Oh, guckt mal, das ist auch noch extra. Haben wir noch was? Nee. Ah, also, sie haben noch Fass. For some reason, there are barrels of tar everywhere. Na, wo braucht man Teer zum Abdichten auch von Schiffen? No feathers in sight, thankfully. If I wanted any tar, there's plenty spilled on the floor. Haben wir ja schon und eine Planke. It's what scientists have lately been calling 
a plank. Planking. Looks very pickable to me. <laughs> pickable. <laughs> Things are ramping up. <laughs> Nicht auf dem Holzweg. Oh, da haben wir sogar eine Vertiefung drin. Können wir diese Plank in die Vertiefung tun? I think I need something else there first. Here we go. Now it's a little shallow pool of dense, extra sticky tar. I think I need something else there first. To get the right angle. All right. What the heck was I concocting here? It felt abstract, ridiculous, absurd even. The foundation of a really far-fetched and scatterbrained solution to my predicament. But this was a pretty ridiculous adventure already, so I guess I was just adapting. <laughs> Wir gucken uns mal das Tablet an. Whoever tossed me into the clink must have left this here for my amusement. Kostenlos WLAN, perfekt. It doesn't have the tubes, in series or otherwise. No way to contact the outside world. Was ist dann drauf? Irgendwelche Videos? Oh, look, it has Jelly Annihilation Epic. <laughs> Distracted is the last thing I want to be right now. Distract. Gut, dann müssen wir wahrscheinlich die Planke drauflegen. And a plank. This was officially ridiculous. Was I feeling proud of myself? A definite and resounding no. But it was all I had. So, machen wir eine kleine Rakete draus. Das kommt nicht. Look at this. A cringeworthy blue ribbon taker in the crazy enough that it could work regional semifinals. Definitely not a highlight in my career. Assuredly not a low though. Maybe those late night Mac Viper and Mac and Cheese syndicated binges had some kind of effect on my person. Good old Mac. Geil von Schweiber. So, akute Abenteuer. Warte, was ist das? Akute Abenteuertes. Dinge aneinander reiben. Wir reiben Dinge aneinander. Oh yeah. Was nutzen wir das? All right, door. Brace for serious imminent impact. Prisoner. The boss wants to see you. Come on out here. You have got to be kidding me. <lacht> Gerade hat das fertig. Mr. Katype, or should I call you Don? No, you shouldn't. Katype will do just fine. We provided you with some slippers. Did Brother Gleam not assess your shoe size correctly? Now listen here, Buster. Unless I'm in the comfort of my own home, I don't do slippers. You can leave a man pantless, shirtless even. But don't mess with his footwear symmetry, <laughs> you barbarian. What is this place and who are you anyway? This is about that damned book, isn't it? How deductive. Earning your keep, huh? Come now, don't take it personally, Katype. You were useful in leading us to it for a while, and then you were no more. We never really wanted to hurt you, or your shoes. You're sullen, grumpy, and mean to everyone. We like you. You would have gone far in our organization. Hmm, well, did you find the darn thing? As soon as the kidnapped troops got you out of there, our recon squad was dispatched to retrieve the volume. So you're really convinced you know its exact whereabouts, huh? Close to 100% certain. Ah, speak of the devil. All right, Brother Bright, was our information correct? Yes, Brother Starburst. So it's true. The Necronomicon really was hidden in the library? Kind of. Y yes, your starriness. Well, don't just <laughs> stand there, you fool. Let's see it. Well, we, we don't really have it. What? A sigil was gone. Broken into tiny little pieces, and something had clearly been hidden in there, but no book in sight. Katype? Everything was intact when I was in there, so don't put it on me, your grand poobah shininess. What about the librarian? It's a funny thing, we ran past each other when we were on our way to collect the tome. He looked so scared. <laughs> well, of course he looked scared, a bomb had just gone off. Anything else? Hmm, I don't think so. <gasps> Oh, wait, yes, he was carrying a big book and didn't seem too happy about it either. Find me this librarian now! What about me? You don't need me anymore. Oh, just go back to your little cellar. Now let's be real here for a minute. What good am I to you now, cultist? He's right, Brother Starburst. You just chew into our rations and you don't know anything either way. Oh, all right. Just sacrifice him to the haunter or something. Stop <coughs> bothering me. Fine with me, boss. Walk, prisoner. 
Opfer ihn einfach. Ist okay. Uh, I'm gonna need someone from Rites and Rituals down here ASAP. As I'm about possible. to do an R24-A. Come on, guys. You know the drill. Guys. Guys? Sheen? You out there? Anyone? Come on, you know I can't do Jack until we fill out the SNF 187. We don't want any trouble with Code Union. We've been through this, people. Is anyone out there? Guys? Prisoners not in sacrificial robes. No ceremonial bucket for the collection. <laughs> We're really running a shoddy operation here. No wonder EOD's kicking our derriers. I'm embarrassed. The prisoner's embarrassed. This is not looking good, brothers. Sheen? Flair? You guys totally bolted, didn't you? Starburst is not gonna be happy when he hears about this, people. This makes us look really, really bad. I almost feel like apologizing to the would-be victim. Hey, you don't feel bad. It's not your fault. Yeah, well, it sort of is. It's our collective fault. I share in it, I take my response. We're not a startup cult anymore. This is unacceptable. Your striving to be a better evil organization is commendable. Aw, thank you. It's nice to know that at least someone here appreciates it. Don't mention it. Okay, können wir jetzt einfach das Ding losjagen? Gut. Sweet dreams, star lover. Hätte ich mit ihm reden sollen noch? Ich dauere auf Zeit jetzt, deswegen. Ich würde sagen, wir speichern mal. Ach so, speichern. Was haben wir denn? Wir haben eine Leiter. It's an enticing ladder to some upper level. Hmm. It looks very, very climbable. <lacht> das soll ich machen irgendwann mal. Ist das eigentlich hier eine, eine Rutsche hier, so eine Stange zum Rutschen? Well, that's nice. A little extra safety is always appreciated. Ach so, nee, zum Hochkommen, zum Besthalten. This rail is really, really greasy. Either they lubricate it, or these star jamooks are some serious sebum seeping slime balls. Da kommen wir ja mit dem Lappen vielleicht ein bisschen was davon ab. Abstreichen, sagte ich. Wo ist Stange? Okay, dann gucken wir uns mal um. Was gibt es denn hier alles? Zeug, das rumliegt. Ein Schreibtisch. Not a particularly interesting starry cult desk, if you ask me. I'm not into this desk at all. Got a serious structural hazard over here. Looks like a healthy crack it might spell its d I'm gonna need something to whack it good. Okay, das können wir was kaputt machen. I need something stout and Wir haben übrigens was Neues reingeschrieben. Ich glaube, mein Ausweg ist durch diese rissige Oberfläche an der Wand. Man braucht nur das richtige Werkzeug mit den richtigen Eigenschaften. Das heißt, sehr hart und schwungvoll. It appears to be dusk outside. It's all about stars with these people for some reason. No way to reach it. Was gibt's hier noch? Bücher. A heck of a lot of literature. Most, if not all of it, star-related. Figures. Gotta know them stars, I guess. Not in the mood for star stuff, really. Star stuff? Stuff stuff? It's a heap of astronomy-related instruments. Wait, there's a piece of wire sticking out from it. It's a very useful-looking piece of wire. Wire, wire? Did I mention it looks particularly useful? <laughs> I think I'd rather just pick it up. Sehr gut, bisschen Draht. So, was ist da noch links? Riesige, verbarrikadierte Tür. Huge, sturdy door. It's barricaded from the outside. Of course. It Schloss natürlich. 
barricaded from the other side. Makes sense that they'd shut me in here, but it seems that they don't think too highly of that Gleam guy either. The armor troop team were here. I'm going hard. I think I can reach if I leap. Only stars, no stripes. Yeah, yeah, this American just. I never thought I'd say this, but I don't think I'm heavy enough. Me or the stuff I'm lugging around. Ich habe versucht, die Standflagge zu manipulieren, aber ich kann es nicht abbrechen. Können wir vielleicht mit Draht ein bisschen was ab? I don't see a reason to use this. Okay. So, ansonsten. Wir gucken mal den Bruder an. Was der so hat? Ein Messer hatte der da dabei. Brother Gleam is sleeping off a particularly demanding day. He'll make it. Don't worry. Sleep tight, little cultist. Don's watching over you. I don't want to disturb the guy. He's getting his beauty sleep. Hat er doch ein Messer gehabt. Und er hat auch Pantoffeln an übrigens, nur mal so als Hinweis. I'd gotten lucky with the fire extinguisher. Must not have triggered it completely. It still had a lot of huh, fire in it. It was just as hard to control as before. But I had a feeling I could put it to good use one more time. So irgendwie ist Fußboden noch was. A little color twist to the classic checkered temple floor. That's nice, I guess. It's really, really shiny. I'm using it as I speak. <lacht> er nutzt schon den Fußboden. Gut, ähm, wir versuchen mal die Leiter hochzugehen. Damn it. How'd I know it'd be locked? Na gut, er wird schon mal probieren. Feuerlöscher kann man da reinhauen. Right then and there, I thought of placing the fire extinguisher on the desk so as to help steer it and set it loose on the cracked surface of the wall. I could make tracks from this place and never look back. It came to me then that doing so would make a mighty commotion, though. And these starry jamooks would be all over me like a shot. I'd never... No. There I stood. A Joe with one foot in a mystery and the other missing a shoe. They dragged me here against my will and I wasn't gonna leave without first finding out just what the hell they were all about. I had to think of something else. Aber er könnte die Wand doch einschlagen. Ich bin völlig noch drauf richten. Vielleicht nur Hinweis. So, können wir jetzt vielleicht dran springen, weil wir jetzt ein Völlig im Inventar haben? I never thought I'd say this, but... I was obviously out of my element. That made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> no need for bandages. He'll be just fine. Okay. Can we den Feuerlöscher die Luke dort oben irgendwie aufschlagen? Seems like a good idea, using the extinguisher to crack open the hatch. But that idea ain't but a few think ticks away from imagining that can bouncing all over the room at pressure. Filling the place with cloud and powder and knocking a Joe's lights all the way out. Can we draht daran hang? There's no visible lock to pick on it, so... No. Apropos, can we den Draht da vielleicht nutzen mit der anderen Seite? Zum Auf... Trying to pick the lock won't help. It's barricaded from the other side. Nochmal probieren? I don't think even this thing's powerful enough to... Okay. Geh noch mal zurück. Distract. Hm. Sieht er vielleicht jetzt beim Müll irgendwas Interessantes? Nothing there. Ich würde auch nicht so mitnehmen. I wanted. Okay. All right. Made a nice little sliding hook thing. Halfway there. See, it's a hook. It don't work by itself. I need to hook stuff to it. <laughs> it's a hook thing I made by tying the piece of wire to the rail. Really high-tech stuff. 
Nein. It goes from floor to ceiling. Something could slide up and down on it without much difficulty. I'm a natural born handyman. Tja, machen wir mal, ich würde sagen, den Feuerlöscher hängen wir dran. There we go. One radical red hot ram rocket ready to go. It's ready, steady and aimed. Fire! I hope I've Hatte der nicht eigentlich vor so die Klappe nach unten zu ziehen? Und jetzt dadurch wird die ja nach oben durchgehauen. Nur gut, wir denken nicht drüber nach. Das passt schon alles. McWiper. <lacht> oh oh, hier sehe ich schon was. Aber ich glaube, das sehen wir uns dann in der nächsten Folge an. Bis dahin, euer Landetor. Tschüss.